everybody, welcome to Thoughts On. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. I am Brett, Cheesy Roll-Up Man 5000 Hanrahan. Yes, the Cheesy Roll-Up at Taco Bell now. It's cheese. It's like a fruit roll-up, but with cheese. But with cheese. And it's way worse than a fruit roll-up. It's so much worse than a fruit roll-up. <laughs> so who are you? I was letting the mystery... Air. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Who, gotcha. Who was the fruit yeah. roll up? Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I'm <laughs> Sam, the dank jazz man, Risley. Wow. Den- in the flesh. I mean, Denton, Texas, right? Jazz yep. fest. Got the jazz festival coming up soon. I believe it actually starts today. Oh. On so Monday, you're kind of subconsciously getting getting those jazz vibes. You feel the city. Let's see. When you're in the city, you feel the city. You feel the vibes. I'm sorry. Of the city. It starts. It starts on the 27th. Well, you're a fucking idiot, and I, I can't, can't believe you lied to me. Well, this episode. I'm will, getting ready for it. This episode will probably come out on the 27th. Oh yeah. Happy yeah. jazz day! Well, Yay! Never jazz mind. Fest. Woo! Yeah. You're intelligent. Woo! You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just jazzing over here. Man. Hell yeah. We're I don't know why I said L instead of hell. L. L yeah. We're trying to we're trying to be L, kid yeah. friendly on this podcast. Family friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Censor right. it. Now what the uck are you about, Sion? <laughs> <laughs> what the front door are you gonna say? Yeah. Uh I am uh, Let's cut the shy and get to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a gold medalist at the Boogie Board Olympics, Sion Haskins. Wow, I I thought the Olympics hadn't happened. No, the boogie board Olympics. Oh, the specifically the boogie board Olympics. Yeah. Do they have anything mm-hmm. to do with the actual Olympics? Uh, no, they are their own. They're you know they have the Summer Olympics, the Winter Olympics, the the, the boogie board Olympics. The but the entire time, but the entire time they played the song "Boogie" by Brock Hampton. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That dirty sax. They see me in the street. They say, Willie, Willie. They see me in the street of like a hill. Like and a and hill. also, um, Walking on the Sun by Smash Mouth, which was a very good performance that we saw the day after that episode yeah. came out. Yeah, um, y'all remember last week's episode. Because today is the 27th, of course. Yeah. And not yeah. still Monday the 16th of April. You know. Well, now you gave it away. <laughs> you know, Sam, I no, actually No, I didn't. Heard... No, it's, today is definitely the 27th. Sam, I heard Smash Mouth mm-hmm. is actually going to be playing the Jazz Festival. With their, oh, yeah, with their oh new, you better believe it, man. Their jazzy renditions of their songs. What if Smash Mouth put out a new album and it was a jazz album? It's just freaking... Somebody once told me the world was going to roll me. I don't know how a jazz rendition of All Star would sound. I'm going to look it up. No, I think you got it right. Some... Body once Body told one. me. Okay, now we're getting, now we're getting on Christopher. Robot. Now we're like stepping towards Christopher Walken Some sounding. Body, body once told me. Once told me, the world was gonna roll me. It was me. gonna roll me. <laughs> I ain't the sharpest tool in the shit. Mm. Man, I love making jokes from 2012. <laughs> yeah, right. It's because I, 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 I don't think we made a single. I don't think we made a single joke that isn't. A reference from 2012. We're making fun Welcome of Smash Mouth. Travel podcast. Yeah, and we're making Christopher Walken references. We're taking you back to the past. We're taking you to 27 years ago, 1995. The troll face was born. When troll face was born in 2008. Okay. I I will. Shit, I forgot. Cool. Let's go to our first subject. I'll go ahead and go first. I don't. I don't think I've gone first. Wait, wait, in a wait, while. wait, wait! I just remembered it. I just remembered it. Oh, okay. I love the human species never se- ceases to amaze me because we create fantastic songs like Moonlight Sonata and like Furelise and like the Me Plaza theme song and Smash Mouth <laughs> All Star. Yep. Okay. And like we make those amazing masterpieces. And then we also have these people who create genuine masterpieces by making the most outlandish remixes of them possible. Like the fucking one where it's like All Star by Smash or Smash Mouth. Yeah, that one. But and but every third beat is removed. 
Right. Yeah, and, and like just, Smash Mouth, but in alphabetical order. Yeah, yes, and that's it, my favorite. And it one. just fucking like never ceases to amaze me that humans have this cr- level of creativity. Smash Mouth, but everything is C. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> once told me the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Yes. Anyway, like uh, Cyan, channel, you're up. But... Okay, cool. Cut okay. me off. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Nah, your joke's over. Yeah. Yeah. I was walking around the farm where my... Oh, I guess I should... This is a a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Cyan, when'd you go around the farm? I didn't know you had one. <laughs> just uh, just another day on the ranch. Cyan became one of those uh, farm lesbians there all, that the government's apparently <laughs> trying to fund. Ever since that Smash Mouth concert, yeah. she's changed. <laughs> so I was walking around the farm where I guess Lewis... This is a dream Lewis had. Oh, okay. This is from Vulas.com. I was walking around the farm where my grandma and granddad used to live, and Mm -hmm. I somehow made the realization that I could float. I jumped in the air and found myself levitating, which was fun, although I could only fly a couple of centimeters from the ground, so it was kind of pointless. That's the end. (laughs) (laughs) A couple centimeters. Yeah. Like, could you imagine getting a power... (laughs) <laughs> like I have this power to fly, but you can only like. Okay, I mean, you know what? Thing. You know what? I hate that he's like, "This is lame." That's still fucking cooler than anything anyone else can do. No, it's like if if something like that happened in real life, that's sick as fuck. Yeah, but also like, could you a do couple a couple centimeters? I mean, that'll that'll only do you one thing good, and that's you don't have to use your muscles to walk mm. anymore. Yeah. I guess. That's true. I think but now you're going to be mentally exhausted because you have to use your brain muscles. I think the funniest part about it is, like, if you're trying to show it off, you have to be like, get down on the floor. You can see if you look real close. <laughs> Y'all, I swear. Like, just look. It's hard to see with all the grass, but I ain't. Look, it's floating. No, it's floating. One, on, no one online would ever believe you. Yeah. No. No. Because... They- you know, Captain Disillusion will make a video debunking any video you post. Yeah. Everyone on Twitter will be like, oh, it's photoshopped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, mm-hmm. here you are. Here you are. You're the, you're the lone, you're the floating, you're the floating f- floater. You got floating. Nailed floating it in one, fuck. Brett. You got it. <laughs> no, I like the floating fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone you show it to is like, whatever, screw you, I hate you. <laughs> Fucking floating fuck. Ellen DeGeneres is like, today we have the floating fuck. fuck. And he like levitates in. He's like, sup, Ellen? What's <laughs> up? Like, look, you could slide a piece of paper under the feet. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so another another news story today. The floating <laughs> fuck has been spotted downtown Manhattan. <laughs> in, like a news report. Yeah. Okay. So if there were was a news report on this. Since it's technically a proper name, would they be allowed to say it on air? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the floating fuck, <laughs> and I will be running for president. I, oh, my God. You Hi, can... it's me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I endorse fuck. the floating fuck. What, are you going to you gonna vote for someone who can't float? Yeah. Is that what you're going to do? Vote for me, the floating <laughs> fuck. A tax evasion. I'll float above It'll all float our away. problems. It'll float away. <laughs> Your debt float away. Only a couple centimeters from the ground. I'm not that powerful. College tuition. It'll float It'll away. Float away. You know what I love? Here's the thing. Floating a couple centimeters, you can T-pose. Oh, you can just yeah. <laughs> the like ultimate the idea of him, Bethesda like, glitch. Yes! I like the idea of him campaigning. And he's like, I'll make everything in this country float. And everyone's like, yeah! And, like, they elect him. And then everything does float. But only, like, two centimeters. Yeah, it's like, everything's and, better, but it's only a little bit And better. everyone's, like, mad at him. And he's like, uh, I, I said, like, I'll, I'll make everything float. And I did, so I don't know why y'all are mad. Yeah. Well, I, did, I did not make any falsified claims. That, there's only so much I could do. You so know? what you're saying is I'm, I'm Flying Fuck is just another normal politician. But he yeah. can float, is the thing. And he's got some farm knowledge as well. He he would be like, I'm the every man. I'm the I'm the farming man. You could trust me, you know? Yeah. I've I've tended to sheep. I know cattle. 
and I, I float. And I used to not always be able to float, so I know what it's like. Mm. I know what it's like to be to be the middle class everyman. Yes. But now I can float, so elect me to be the president, because I am better than you. I'm pretty sure that's like the whole basis of every presidential campaign. Well, yeah. Yeah. Floating fuck 2020. <laughs> Floating fuck 2020. Up against Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. And Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> well, we all know who's losing that one now. And Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. There's so many candidates. Who else said they were going to run? Jay-Z. The Red Kanye. Eminem. Kanye. The Red Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Eminem. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, Sporty. The mascot for sports clips. That will be me. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm running for president, but I'm doing it as Sporty, the mascot for sports clips. Gotcha. I'm going to run for president in a fursuit. Okay. What's your What's your fursona's name going to be? Sporty? Oh, I didn't think about that. I, I, just, I just started making the comment. Okay. What's it going to look like? I don't know. I haven't fucking thought about all right, it. I'm, all right. I'm sorry. I thought you had, like, I thought you had a little idea. No. Okay. Sam, what, what about you? I, I was honestly hoping that, like, that joke would just be an ignored. Wait, what? What about me? What about me? What am I doing? I, like, are, zoned out for you? a solid second watching the waveform form on my screen. I do that. It, it is a little satisfying for some I, reason. I do that from time to time as well. How are you going to run for president? I'm going to... You're going to do it in your wetsuit? Yeah. Like, how, what, how are you going to do it? I'm going to walk up to the, walk up to the podium in my wetsuit. In your toe shoes. Yep, wet suit and toe <laughs> shoes, and stand at the podium. And do the Jimmy Neutron impression. And then I will. <laughs> I I'm gonna go for a defamation defamation um thing. Defamation. Oh, okay. Where I'll stand up at the podium. And I'll say, my opponent does not like donuts, and point at a picture of Brett. And that's right, okay. we're doing it now. All it's right. the donut episode. It, and then the floating fuck now? and me in my first suit are like. Brett Hanrahan, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Sporty, doesn't like dove no. nuts. Hey. And then the air horns start going off. Hey, Put air horns in and post. The character Sporty loves donuts. I hope air okay. horns are going right now. Yeah, sure. All right, whatever. Uh, you get your air horns. Sporty and loves like donuts. Crowd clapping. Okay, Sporty's... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for backseat editing yeah. this episode. We love Sam the fursuit and the floating fuck. We love Sam the fursuit and the floating fuck. fuck. All three of them for president. Fuck sporty. <laughs> Why y'all? What do y'all gotta get sporty? For the first time, like three donuts. presidents were elected. <laughs> <laughs> All because they banded well, together because one of the candidates didn't like donuts. They became Ever since a the conglomerate. <laughs> Ever since the absolutely successful Third Reich. <laughs> Three oh. leaders have been elected at the same time. Oof. No, this is gonna be great, y'all. No, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Who, which, wait, who do you think right, is gonna overthrow? That would be the first? Fourth Reich, since the Third Reich already. Y'all would be the Fourth Reich. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you saying y'all would be the Fourth Reich? Wait, why no. are we suddenly Nazis? Like, what happened? No. I'm saying What's that the happened? president before us was the the Fourth Reich. Because okay. we all know what's you know, going on. All right. Okay. All right. Why are we? Why are we Reichs? Like, no, we're just three. We're we're just a first no, suit. Not, a guy who can float. We are not. And you in a wetsuit. No, we are <laughs> not a Reich. We will take down oh, fascism. Okay. Gotcha. I thought you were saying that the three of us were the next like no. Reich, and I was like, no, 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 no. I don't know why y'all. No, we will take down why fascism. That's the identity. And crush it with an iron fist. Fashion of donuts. Of donut. Okay, so a, the okay. kind of yeasty fist. A yeah, yeast, and let me dough. remind you, Sporty doesn't like them. Yep. Brett Sporty Hanerhan. likes them. Brett doesn't like them. Well, at, Sporty is a man's man. At Brett Hanrahan, that's three T's. Hanrahan spelled H-A-N-R-A-H-A-N mm -hmm. okay. on Twitter. All right. He doesn't like, like donuts. donuts. Sue me. Sue me. What are you going to do? I don't like donuts. Let's get what on if, to the what, next what subject. Is, what is your problem with donuts, Brett? I, that, I just don't like how they taste. What else would I have against donuts? They taste amazing. They are they're just brilliant. They are tiny little cakes with holes in the center. All of them are incredible, and they all have different flavors and different personalities. It's just it's just filling, and it's all sticky. It doesn't need to be flaky. filling or sticky. <laughs> Sometimes okay. it's you're just getting the wrong donut. All right, here's here's my thought. 
No. Here's the thought. We're moving on. Sam, you're going to go last. (laughs) Because I brought that up. (laughs) That was like your punishment. (laughs) (laughs) You You go think about what you did in timeout. (laughs) <laughs> this comes from both inspired oh does it both okay <laughs> all right this comes from both inspired both inspired on reddit it says you cannot look cool chasing a ping pong ball <laughs> you can't look cool chasing any ball like yeah. when like you throw a basketball and it, like kind of like hits the thing and goes the other direction you have to, like, <laughs> chase after the ball like no, you, uh, if, you, like, if you have walking. to chase after yeah like this you look like a fool chasing after anything because that means you failed and you're like but like even worse the basketball scenario where like it's like kind of by your feet and you're like shuffle running and your arms are <laughs> yeah. straight out at it and you're kind of yeah. bent yeah. just a little bit well the and ping so pong ball you got you got the tiny little paddle in one and you're kind of like <laughs> for some yeah. reason you are having to like dart after this ball because for some reason ping pong balls move way faster than they ever should yeah yeah they, i mean you lose them for one second that's that's it they're gone they're gone it's just they're fucking gone. gone they disappear from this tennis realm. balls oh boy once they're gone they are gone forever it's oh just yes like happening. as soon as they go over that fence you might as well kiss that ball goodbye mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because no one wants to go get it I mean, you're like, yeah, okay, we'll get them all later, and then you don't. Yeah, you're just And like, then, like, you one day are like, well, we're out of ping pong balls. I guess we gotta go to Walmart. Yeah. Ugh. So, when I saw this question, right, I'm like, we can make this happen. We can make it look cool to chase after a ping pong ball. Oh. My first thought, Heelys. Of course. Right? The easy solution to anything. Is Heelys. You go after it, you lose it. Oh, I hit it too hard. I'm sorry. Like... Dude, don't even worry about it. And then you just give a little push. Just go after it. You just scoop And to it help up. improve your aerodynamics, you dab as you go. So you're just yes. like you're just continuously dabbing because as we know, 40. the the dab forms a natural teardrop dab safe 40. shape. <laughs> yeah. The the dab forms the dab forms a natural teardrop shape. Which is as as science has actually proven the the uh, w- the dro- the water droplet shape is the most aerodynamic shape. Mhm, mhm. And people chasing after with you can ride that draft you got behind you. Exactly. Right. And they could, they could go faster. Y'all could help each other out. And uh, y'all, there are so many ways to go after a ping pong ball. Cool. Of course. Cartwheels. Right? Just cartwheel after it continuously. And then make sure you line it up perfectly to where when you're going down with your hands, you grab oh, it yes. and come back up. Of mm-hmm. course. Mm-hmm. And get a ripstick. Oh. Get a ripstick. Yes. You get you do a like a backflip after it. Oh my god. All you gotta do is do anything that doesn't involve just running after it. Just running. You just have to be creative. Mm-hmm. You're only looking in like an idiot because you are an idiot because you're not thinking of other ways to get after this ball other yeah. than, I guess I have to run after it. And then you're a fucking fool. You're not creative. You're not funny. You're not cute. You're a piece of shit. Who do you think you are Buy running after Heelys. that ball? One more. This one episode of Thoughts on is sponsored by Heelys. One more, <laughs> one more suggestion. Yes. Instead of chasing after the ball, you forget it. You just ignore it. And you replace your arm. Whichever one you don't use to swing, you replace it with a ping pong ball launcher that is just constantly Ah, full of ping pong balls. And you just like, it's whatever, and you fire it directly at your opponent, and that's your serve. (laughs) That's the best solution. And you kill them. Yep, you kill them. It's perfect. And I mean, as we all know, ping pong is always to the death. So once they die, you win. (laughs) Yes. That's that's the only way you can win. You, You either get tired out till you die... Or you kill the opponent. Yeah, I've never played a ping pong ball game where I didn't walk out like with blood on my hands. Yeah, yeah. I um, it's it. I have to uh, ask, Cyan. Yes. Did you just call it ping pong ball? Like the game is called ping pong ball. <laughs> it's yeah. It's just ping. It's you just play a game of ping pong. No, it's a game of ping pong. Or table ball. tennis. <laughs> or tiny uh, tennis. Tiny, tiny tennis. tennis. I like tiny tennis. Tiny tennis is my favorite name for it. <laughs> Small ball. Small Might ball. Might be good. <laughs> tiny ball would paddle. 
That's that. Yeah, yeah, that rolls off the tongue. Yeah, that that that's also probably a porno. <laughs> it's tiny ball, wood paddle, big table. <laughs> Two people. That's my favorite game. It's like rock paper scissors, yeah. but with with all three of those. Hey y'all, later. Y'all want to play big shoulder helmet? Thirty people. Weird ball. <laughs> big field. <laughs> weird ball. You just start field. explaining the rules. Hey, you want to play? Wanna ice play... You want to play ice stick skate? Beat em up. Good match. <laughs> Y'all want to play kick ball into net on big field two team? Yep. <laughs> uh, Y'all want to play uh, go forward in liquid game? I was going to say, like, the next one I was going to do is swimming. <laughs> uh, yeah. Another another one. Another. I demand another cool way to chase um, a ping pong ball. <laughs> Grow wings and fly after it. Yep. You can float after it. You can float at. Oh my god! Right, because the president is definitely gonna like make yeah. floating shoes for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes, because he's like, I'm no better than the people. Exactly, and they're like, don't worry, guys, I'll just t pose after it, and they'll just float over there. How fast do you think? And then everyone cheers. <laughs> and then everyone, ah! it's standing ovation <laughs> at the at the national ping pong. Everyone's like, Whoa! As you just like float to the ping pong ball, I've I guess I've never really seen a real ping pong match. Do you think they have people like in tennis that go after the balls? Probably. I, I, is there professional <laughs> ping pong or is like ping pong just like Did a? Did you ever watch uh, Forrest Gump? Yes, but I I don't remember a ping pong scene in Forrest. No, Gump. there was it, like I the think whole ping pong's huge. The whole like in other nations. Literally, there was a whole like shoot off point where like after Forrest Gump got injured in the military he became like a world renowned ping pong player and went to China to play huh. yeah see I've only ever watched Forrest Gump when I was a really really young kid and then when I was like a junior in high school and we had already taken like the star test for the US history see, class the I don't know why but that is so the we just didn't have anything else to learn for the rest of the semester that's the part yeah. of the movie that just sticks with me the most the part where he just gets really good at ping pong. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Also, yes, there's no... Yeah, I mostly just drew... Ping pong Olympics, is an man. event in the Summer Olympics. Yeah. And it just was... Just like boogie boarding. <laughs> it's just... Well, no, that's not the Summer Olympics. Well, no, boogie boarding is in the Summer Olympics, but boogie boarding was so big in the Summer Olympics that they also made their own Olympics, uh, which I... Yeah. Okay. Which is many boogie board games that you can... Yeah. Oh, you can play. Like yeah. going after a ping pong ball. On a boogie board. On a boogie board. <laughs> oh... And running for president on a boogie board. Oh, Yo, man. we should play, like, water ping pong with boogie boards. We should make that happen. Ha water ping pong. Like, we we have three, we have four boogie boards. The three of us, I guess five, because that way we'll have teams. We can bring Avery along or something. Okay. And it'll be the, it'll be four people, and we'll all be on a boogie board, and there'll be a boogie board in the middle, and that's what we bounce the ball off of. Hmm. I think that can only go right. I think so, too. Yeah. I see no way that can fail. I don't think it can. <laughs> yep. Get on it, Olympic designers. Make we it can happen. play that. Summertime is coming. It sure it's is. True. Sam's not going to be in school, so like you only have to worry about your work schedule. Like We can do it. Mm -hmm. We can make it happen. Oh, man. I feel those summer vibes. I feel them hard. None of us are in school. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're all adults. We can all boogie board <laughs> together whenever the fuck we want to. Yeah, honestly. Oof. Let's and with that, let's boogie board into our last segment. Sam, what our you last got for us? An unimportant segment because Sam is a trouble boy. Uh oh. Mm. What did the trouble boy do this time? Apparently, bringing up Brett's aver aversion to donuts got him in trouble. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. It did. But I also come bearing tides of change for Thought Sauna. As I bring us our first international law. Yes. Everyone, let's take a break to uh to to say to say so a few words for Sam. Um cuz this is a big moment. He's he's changing the game and I think I think this awards Norton point. I well, let's hear the law first. Of course, but I think I'm nominating him for an oint point. 
And okay. this is gonna see if the if, if we're gonna if we're gonna allow it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you half an oint point right now. Okay. And then after after the law, we'll see if you get the other half or if I retract it from you. Okay. Because I am I am very looking forward to this law. All right. In England, it is illegal to hold a salmon suspiciously. <laughs> how do you how? you get the other half of the one point Sam yeah <laughs> you got it <laughs> this also applies to trout eels oh. lampreys smelt and freshwater fish well so, I'm glad yeah. that it applies to other fish as well basically basically, was all for fish. basically yeah. it is illegal to hold a fish suspiciously <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Sam, in the full text of the law, does it say what suspiciously it does not. Like, means? It does not. <laughs> I've like I I am on a I am on a website called let's see. Uh I'm on a website called legislation legislation.gov.uk. Like this is the official text. And it's called the Salmon Act of 1986. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god and it says handling fish in suspicious circumstances <laughs> no <laughs> says no, no. <laughs> i reject i refuse that law it ain't real there's no way right hey put him up this is a bank robbery <laughs> Yeah, it's a fish, so what? It hurts really bad if I hit you with it. Everyone's like, no, he's got a fish! <laughs> That's right, I got a fish. You saw me holding it suspiciously. You should have done something. No, like, yeah, what okay. if, like, some, someone's robbing a bank with a fish? And then, like, but the entire time, they're just kind of, like, smiling and, like, do, looking pretty chill. And then in court, they're like, well, he didn't do anything wrong because he looked pretty chill in all the footage. He didn't look suspicious. Okay, here, I'm going to read you an uh, excerpt from the law. A person shall be guilty of an offense if, at a time when he believes or it would be reasonable for him to suspect that a relevant offense has at any time been committed in relation to any fish in which this section applies, he receives that fish or undertakes or assists in its retention, removal, or disposal. So, hmm. so like, something about... If the if you like go buy a fish and you're like, huh, there's something fishy about this fish, that's illegal. Right. Like straight up, just like there's some kind. Oh, of... so if you're suspicious about the fish, like if the fish might be rotten when you buy it from like the market. Well, I don't like, know huh. because it also it also says like yeah, it says a time when he believes or it would be reasonable for him to suspect that a relevant offense has at any time been committed in relation to any fish to which this section applies. That makes it sound like he believes this fish was involved in, like, major criminal activity. Yeah, yeah. like, he might, there's a tracker in this fish. Yeah. No, no, like, the, tr the fish like has the diabolical fish. intentions. Yes. Like the fish has killed a guy and is, like, out for blood. Yeah. Yes. He wants like, more. Like, you just, like, look at this. This fish just, like, committed a robbery, and it's, like, put itself in a fish market to like try and blend in with the other fish. Like, so that way it doesn't get caught by the police. And then someone just like, is like, Oh, I'll take that fish. And he grabs it. And the guy looks at it. And he's like, this, this fish is suspicious. Now, and it just zooms second. in on the fish that starts sweating profusely, profusely <laughs> as its eyes start darting around the room. Like, Oh shit, the jigs up Jimmy. Wait. So does the guy get arrested or does the fish get arrested? <laughs> both. I, or is it both? Are they arrested together? They're both the guy arrested. is an accomplice. Oh, yeah, okay, as soon as right? you buy the fish, the guy's in a, you're, <gasps> the guy was in on the robbery the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. He was the getaway van. In, oh my a person. God. <laughs> That's why the law was made. It's like, y'all remember that Batman villain that had the puppet? Yeah. Right. And the like puppet like possessed him and made him do the evil things. That's what's going on. Like, I, I can't fish... tell if you're talking about a, a episode of a batman villain or an episode of goosebumps <laughs> it's straight up it is an actual batman villain and it's the most insane villain uh, aside from like calendar man that i've probably ever heard of in the batman series calendar he just man. has a puppet and the puppet has a little tommy gun he's like you know like a brooklyn mafia kind of hey kinda i'm guy. walking here Brrr. 
I'll hit him up, Jerry. You know, like that. Yeah. Uh, and he's just and he's just like controlling this dude or the dude's. I don't know. The puppet's evil. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is the fish takes the person's like they possess them and make the person do these things. So the guy, while being an accomplice, isn't really exactly mm-hmm. responsible for the wrongdoings he does. And that's that's what I think this law the is best, trying to stop. You know what? I think one of the best parts is this man they're getting away. They're in the they're in the van. They're like the fish is like counting the money as the dude drives. Mm. And they get pulled over because the fish doesn't have a seatbelt on, and then it's the, the jigs up. <sighs> oh god! Even what an even idiot. the passenger a goes to jail. Mistake. Rookie mistake. Yeah, a rookie rookie mistake. That's I, one of those things that I would like to call a silly mistake. Mm-hmm. I think well, I think this might be one of the best laws I've ever found so far. <laughs> no, it's a good one. It's a pretty great law. God, I wish, I really do wish these websites would have the incident. That, that made the it. law <laughs> exist. That caused the law. I guess oh, that's gosh. our job, actually. Yeah. Our job is to figure out what that incident was. And this time, it was a fish possessing a man to rob a bank. Yeah. Basically. Little did you know, well, this, this is actually a crime solvers show. Oh. Okay, Sam. Thanks, Sam, for sending that, uh, once again, 20, like... 15 meme into the yep. into the group chat that I'll, we're in I'll, right now. I'm going to put the picture up. Why do you why did you feel like you needed to send this while we were recording the podcast? Cuz it was also, suspicious it has nothing and I, to do with what we were talking. It, I, it it felt suspicious and I thought a fish might have something to do with it. All right, well there's a bee. Well yeah, we will we will we'll go ahead and send it to the FBI and we'll, we'll we'll look at it and we'll send you email from 3 to 5 business days see if we yeah. th- see any suspicious activity with this image. I, um, I do see a little wet stain, so it could have been a fish. Yeah, we're going to have to take this to the lab. Yeah, we better get this, you know, kind of and with get that, it scanned. And with that segue, we must head to the lab. Thank you for joining us in the thought sauna. The FBI sauna. The FBI sauna. <laughs> uh, that stands for female body inspector. That I found I I got it's funny I saw that on a hat in Spencer's. Um, uh, it was it was funny too. My mom didn't know I went to Spencer's. Uh, I'm not allowed in, but do, I went do, in anyway. Do they have any pickle Rick stickers? There? Dude, they have so many pickle Rick shirts. <laughs> and I like I went I went back to like the the like trippy section, but then I saw a launch array, so I got out. I, Wait, I are we still like, recording? No, 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 no. Or if my mom scary. catches. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, this is still on our podcast. Okay, I was like, I'm, just, I'm just playing I... the character of a 13 year old boy who walked into a Spencer's and thought it was the coolest thing ever. Oh, yeah. Okay, what we were uh, all some 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 notes. we're all sweaty. Check us out on Twitter. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we have Facebook, we have YouTube, we have a Gmail. Thoughts on at gmail.com. We have, Should a Discord. We have a Twitter. I don't know, we man. Should probably Maybe set up a Twitter. Let's. I'm opening a Twitter. We'll see. Okay, we'll probably we'll make a Twitter, and post nothing but garbage. Probably here we go. I'm doing it right now. Send us your dreams. Send us your laws. Send us your thoughts through any of these mediums. We'll gladly take them. Uh, and we can't wait to hear from you, Sam. You got any last words for us? Be wary of that fish you just bought at the market. Never trust a fish. Never trust a flounder. All right, Zion, take us out. Oh, I'm making the Twitter. Si- all right, right Science now. currently making the Twitter. All right. Uh, Thanks for joining us. Next time, bring a towel. Sweaty boys. The end. <laughs> you nailed it, Sam. End. Suspicious.